Here we are on the 1.13 BWO Patreon Survival World. Um, and I'm going to give you a quick tour. Here I am with my appropriate clothing for the theme for my build in this world. Okay, we are starting in the front and of the one of the pillars of the community, the Crooked Nook, one of the first buildings in Spawn Town. So you know, all, all you know about AFK fishing, right? And it's kind of like, hmm, yeah, maybe it's okay. Maybe it's cheaty. Some people think it's necessary. Some people think it's cheating. So this little story takes out a whole debate about AFK fishing farms uh, and runs with it. Now this build, I took a picture. Um, it was one of the pictures I had in my inspiration file. Annihilation liked it, and so we picked it and decided to try to redo it, recreate it in our own way. As you can see, it's it's um, kind of a rundown old building. The theme kind of was going in this spawn town. Um, first we started with a boardwalk theme, as you can see here, and then it kind of, um, based on inspiration from other people's builds, uh, morphed into a Mediterranean coastal kind of town, which we should probably change this wood to stone or sandstone or something, brick. Anyway, okay, let's get back to here. So here we have the Crooked Nook for all your fine gear needs. In here, yep, diamond helmets, diamond swords, everything you could possibly need. But if you need something else besides these fabulous, fabulous diamond helmets and swords, inquire within. So if you want that specialty items, we have them hidden away. Down here is the basement, waterlogged, creepy basement. This is where our cohorts and we can sleep, right? Because, you know, we're working all hours of the night and day, smuggling our illicit goods. Why are they illicit goods? Well, I'll show you. There's a little secret entrance here. Secret. Secret. Uh, here we go. Okay, yep. Mm -hmm. I didn't build that. Annihilation built it. It's great. Here we have the underground. This is the underground market. Oh, this is just storage. This is the underground of the Crooked Nook. And here are the IOUs for people who owe the Crooked Nook. Mm -hmm. And storage from our hmm illicit activities yes now there's a secret entrance in here too this is the back entrance this is the employee only entrance redstone by nail annihilation he made this nice button i couldn't get through there he had to put a lever on it so it would work for me <laughs> it <would> stay open <laughs> yeah all right, so let's go look at the corresponding builds. And this story continues. Oh, yes, here is the secret, you know, machinations going on here. So let's continue the story. So you wonder why I'm in a boat. There's only one way for customers and partner vendors to get to the underground marketplace, and I'm going to show you how we do it. Let's go. Get out of your boat, come out here. You need to be like right here in front of this door here. Jump in the water. Go down to this ravine. Ah, hidden by all this plants. Kind of hard to find. We Annihilation and I built this, decorated this ravine out. This conduit so we can breathe. Pretty, huh? Oh yeah, look out for those. <laughs> you get to the end of the ravine, and there's a guard here that points you to the entrance. You go in here, and here we have the underground marketplace. It's, we are directly underneath the 
Don't look in there. There's captured turtle, George. <laughs> we are directly underneath the crooked nook. That's unused space back there. And Annihilation and I built this little underground marketplace where we would sell our goods. This is where you buy the good stuff that we would gain from the fishing farm. And go down here. And we were also in the process of renting out store space to other people on the server so they could sell their goods. And back here we have the Leaky Cauldron Tavern. A little gathering place for the Crooked Nook Associates. <laughs> now we'll go over to my build because I carried the story uh, from this Crooked Nook uh, operation over into my build. All right, let's go. As you can see from this map, this is Spawn Town at the top where the X is. And the X marks the Crooked Nook and the underground marketplace. And then that red trail is the traffic, commercial traffic that goes from the Crooked Nook to Supply Town down here, Pirate Town. And that's where we're going next. And here we go, over to the Pirate Cove. As we tour the server, you'll get some inspiration and some interesting ideas for your own builds, I hope. I also took that from an image that I had gotten off the internet and was in my inspiration files. Uh, it looks quite different actually in the picture. I modified it quite a bit. I needed it to look like a rundown bridge building. <laughs> That's the entrance into uh, town that way for boats. I also took some inspiration from Good Times with Scar and I wanted to experiment with detailing up terrain. So I did some work, a lot of work actually, on this river here. And it's still, it's pretty narrow, but I did all the sides, dug it out. Um, actually, I don't think this river was there originally. There was land here. So I dug that out and I detailed it up with the rocks and sand and dirt. Um, same with this cave. This was just dirt mainly, I think, if I remember correctly. And so decorated it to look like an old cave. This is a smuggler's cave, right? And it's another way entrance into the town. And back here, I was going to build a more smuggler's caves and there is a big mine shaft below here so I was going to connect that up and my base is down here secret hidden base of course not as secret and hidden as some people's but <laughs> it's what I did I really wasn't sure how I was going to turn this out this was going to turn out and if I liked it or not it looks good in um, I think it looks good I like it actually it's kind of iffy for a while for me. Um, it looks good in B-Dub's texture pack with the darker brick, but it looks fine with the bright red brick as well. The red brick and the acacia wood and the clay seem to go together pretty well. So I wanted to make it, yeah, like I said, a rundown old building. I didn't finish the interiors in here. Um, with holes in the walls. Right, it was probably is plaster over stone and it's eroded away. Yeah, and so this is the bridge that crosses the river. And I was going to build a, a town, river town here. There's all kinds of, this is really cool terrain with lots of rivers. And I can show you that later. I didn't finish the interiors here, but basically it's just, this is the main tower. Um... some flower places in this as far as I got with the interior. Yeah. And I oh yeah, there's a little side hanging room over here. You can see Spawn Town from here. Right? This is a uh, this little pirate cove has to be defensible, so you need to be able to see everything. Go down here. This is another entrance. This is the main entrance from this little dock. Yeah. And a bit of storage in here, a little bedroom, a little elf on the shelf. Yeah, just in case you need one of those. Christmas surprises. <laughs> and this leads out to this tavern that I was building. And 
Jerichraft, I think, is where I got the inspiration from for this building. It didn't fin haven't finished the interiors yet either, but basically it was a tavern inn, right? It's gonna have would have rooms serving food and drink. Pretty big. One of the main buildings in the town. I'm gonna put a little stable back here in between the two buildings. And let's see, I think it was starting out on more of the dock here. Yeah, building this up. Along the river. If you wanna go from this dock, it's gonna be docks over here, to that dock, you need to take a boat, right? That's where the boats are. And so this, we have a little food farms, a little vineyard and milk, milk cow. And this is, of course, is part of an important part of the Crooked Nook operation. And I think I cleaned everything out of here. Yep. My fishing farm. Here, I was gonna build a blacksmith, uh, working on a warehouse, storage warehouse up there. This would be an entrance to the mines. And we got a little mining camp here. And a little outdoor kitchen. But then this is going to be docks along here. Along this way. And this is the dock warehouse. These are heads from bounties, maybe? <laughs> Enemies of the Crook and Neck have their heads posted on pikes. Yeah. And so I was going to build a bunch of sort of run-down shacks here. Like this one here, this building. Didn't finish the interior. If you can see Spawn Town from here. Kind of cobbled together as the idea. I think you can go up here. Yeah. There's another room up here, and you can see again, it's, it needs to be defensible, right? And just the warehouse, and I took the uh, inspiration from Vigaman on this wall. I really like what he did in one of his towns and I wanted to try it out. So that's what that's from, inspiration from. I really like how that turned out. Look at this. I thought it'd be fun to build little houses and huts and other places along here, operate business operations, expand the town. This is a lovely, rundown tower that Skinar be built and underneath uh, it's covering underground is a railroad I believe that goes to his build which is pretty far away. I'm pleased with how that turned out and I like the layers of the town right. Okay so we will head over to Spawn Town take a look at the stores and the people that they build uh, people have built there and then the plan is uh, after that we will go and look at some other builds some amazing builds down the coast that way. And then we will go into another and look at other people's builds in subsequent episodes. Seriously? Seriously. You had to get into my scene. What's that called when somebody, oh yeah, paper photobomb. <laughs>